after a long, cold and wet winter, spring is finally here and our grass is turning green. I'm so excited. It also means backyard barbecue, summer vacation, and all the rest. Today, I got something really cool I wanna share with you. This is the Dabson DBS 2300 portable power station. Now this main unit, 2.3 kilowatt hours of storage in pretty good form factor. Add one of these extra batteries, you double that. And it actually has room for two of those. But today, we're gonna take a little bit of time off, do something a little bit different, have some fun in the backyard. That bouncy house for the kids, currently running on this battery. We're also gonna grill up some food and have some good old fashioned fun. But this thing is also really cool to be prepared for emergencies. Run all your critical stuff, even if the power goes out, be prepared with one of these. And if you're a contractor or landscaper, you can keep your tools and stuff charged up in your truck. There's a lot of really cool use cases. We'll go through all of them today. Huge thanks to Dabson for sponsoring this episode. I'm Ricky, this is Stupid Adventure. All right, let's talk about what comes in the box. First of all, when you buy the DBS 2300 main battery, you also get the following things, user manual, of course, and a AC charger to the wall. Pretty standard, you just plug that into the wall, and you can charge. Then you get the cigarette lighter adapter. So this plugs into the same port as the solar panels do, and you can charge from your car while driving. Also pretty cool. And finally, you have your XT60 cable, which plugs into the back, and these MC4 connectors go to any solar panel, pretty standardized, and it'll work with any of them out there as long as the voltage works within the system voltage range. For the smart battery, we have the following accessories as well, which is pretty cool. Another solar XT60 connector, so you can plug in another solar panel to it. And this, of course, the trunk cable that connects the two. Now, as I mentioned, this can accept up to two other batteries. So you buy just the traditional battery and you have 2.3 kilowatt hours, DBS 2300, of course. But you need more, the DBS 3000B, the extra battery, has three extra kilowatt hours. That's how you get to 8.3 total. 2.3 for the main battery, and then three kilowatt hours per extra battery. And this can take up to two extra batteries, giving you a total of eight kilowatt hours, which is absolutely massive. And the coolest part about the extra battery is that it can also take more solar inputs. It has two, which means that this can charge on 600 watts of solar. And then you can string up some other panels on the ground during a picnic and charge 600 and 600 for a total of 1200 watts of solar into this battery combined. That's 1800 watts with these two batteries and even more if you have an extra battery. I've never seen that before. Typically all the solar input, all the inputs go into the main battery, not into the extra batteries. But this is a really cool feature. But the coolest thing about this Dabson portable power system, I think, is how energy dense this is. Look at the form factor. Typically, batteries that I've seen in this size are one kilowatt hour, around that range. This is 2.3 and three for the extra battery. Plus with their multi-dimensional tab, construction, they're able to get these batteries much closer together, giving you the high energy density. These are, they say about 30% more energy dense per the form factor, and I completely believe it. In fact, their chemistry is the same lithium iron phosphate chemistry used in some Mercedes and Volkswagen electric vehicles. Really high in chemistry, really intelligent layout, and all the fewer contact points between the batteries means lower thermals, and the BMS is more than up to the task. In my testing, I found these to run really cool and really quiet, which is one of the most amazing things. So what makes this special? What's different about it? Honestly, I think this form factor. It is really hard to beat something in this size with this much power. Let's put this to the absolute test. 1500 watt griddle, bouncy house, mini fridge at the same time. Start with the bouncy house, I think. Here we go. Okay. That pull in. Three hundred, around three hundred watts or so, which means that's two two sixty, and this is forty. And now for the cooktop, we're gonna we're gonna grill some burgers, some hot dogs because it's warming up here in San Diego, and why not? Right, Fuji. All right, bacon, Claudia. Yes, bacon. Cla a one, bacon. Yeah. My man. All right. Here we go. Got some bacon going on. Okay, we got. Final hamburger, and we'll do a uh, do a hot dog. Yeah, why not? All right. Let's see. We're pulling 1,740 watts, which means there's still 500 watts maximum left. 
we could power like a full-size refrigerator, we could power a bunch of stuff. Cool. And pulling this much power, we still have two hours of runtime. So at this rate, we could power that bouncy house, a 1500 watt griddle, and this for over two hours. But odds are, you're gonna cook for 20 more minutes, 30 more minutes, turn that off, and with the solar coming in, this thing will start charging again and power everything else. All right, let's put it to the test, here we go. So while that's cooking, let me tell you a little bit about what makes this really special. First of all, they have electric vehicle grade battery chemistries and battery management systems. It's really high end stuff and it shows. The overall build quality has been really fantastic. What I like about it is for its form factor, two, nearly two and a half kilowatt hours of energy storage is really, really good. Typically these batteries will be a little bit bigger accounting for all those kinds of factors. And also when this thing is running, like right now, what you're hearing is that. Let me do this. I'm going to unplug the bouncy house, okay? We're still pulling 1500 watts. Listen to that. It is one of the quietest portable power stations I've ever heard. A lot of the ones I normally use have a really high pitch whine noise on the fan. And with that lithium iron phosphate chemistry, they're saying around 6,500 cycles before 80% degradation, which means you could charge this all the way up and down every day for almost two decades, which is amazing. All right, so where are we at? 85%. We're pulling 1500 watts making lunch and we're still at 85%. That tells me if you were going to the park just for a couple of hours, maybe 30 minutes of grilling food and then bouncy house or something, you wouldn't need to bring this with you. Just bring one little battery and you can power all of that, especially if you take a solar panel. That's awesome. All right, we've had our fun. We've made lunch, pretty cool stuff, but it's time to get serious and talk about something very important. Ketchup or mustard on your hamburger and hot dog? And on this, I'm sorry, but there's only one answer. It's mustard. Sorry, this might be offensive. Don't come at me, but you gotta go mustard. All right, so let's take a look at what we get here with the Dapson portable power station. First of all, up front, there's a light and it even strobes, which is really cool if you're camping out in the dark or as the sun starts going down. Really like that feature. It's actually really bright too. That's the higher brightness setting. Next up, we have USB chargers and you have a plethora. You have three type C, one of which is a hundred watt, which means I can have my laptop fully charged up running from that port, charge an iPad, an iPhone, other devices. And there's two type A ports as well. All really cool, you can control it with a little switch right there. Then over here, we've got the cigarette port and Anderson port. And um, that's the end of the DC side. For AC, if you swing around the back, we have our port for solar input charging from the sun, which is just the coolest part about this. You can also charge from the wall, and if you put the charge speed to custom on the bottom, you can set the charge speed in the app, which is really cool. Let's say you just wanna charge very slowly overnight, or you need a full charge, 1800 watt maximum, you can control that in the app. That's where that plugs into. And then down here, you have five typical AC ports, and you can just turn the whole port system on or off right up here. What's really nice too is it has a 12 hour timeout, which is probably more than you need, because sometimes if the devices are turned off and this doesn't detect any power, they'll turn off automatically. But with the 12 hour timeout and those settings, you can control that to your liking. Finally, on the back, this is the main battery and this is the extra battery. Main battery, 2.3 kilowatt hours. You combine them together and it's almost five, which is pretty amazing. That's how we can power all this stuff out here. But with just one of these, it's 2.3, which is pretty good size and you've got ports for two of these extra batteries. Again, one of the features that I love about these is modularity. Start with one of these, if you want more, you can bring two, and they're you know decently portable. You can bring three even, you can have another battery and be near closer to seven and a half kilowatt hours. And two solar inputs for the extra battery as well, and then just the ports to connect these batteries together. High gauge cable, really nice. And uh, yeah, it almost acts like one big battery, which is really nice. How about for work? What if you're a landscaper or a contractor and you need to use power tools out in the field? As a homeowner, sure, just go to the garage and get a new battery. But if you all you have is your work truck, throw those daps and batteries in the back and keep these batteries charged up. This is an electric chainsaw. How cool is that? So I'm gonna take a little, little uh, pass on this tree. Wish me luck.
I'm not a lumberjack. I'm sure I didn't do that all just right. But I do love to get out and do the occasional little bit of yard work. And if you do these things, for work. It's amazing to keep them charged up in your truck while you're working. And just with that, I'm charging it back up in between jobs, getting the batteries and you just keep on working. A lot of people think electric is somehow inferior to gas. It really isn't. The reason that chain saw is so good, 56 volt system, which means that these batteries at 10 amp hours each means they're about half a kilowatt each. Now this one battery by itself can charge these four times and odds are with how long these last, that might be an entire day for you. But if it's not, get the extra battery as well and you can charge these eight times more than you'll probably ever need in a single day and solar input you can throw a solar panel on the roof and keep them topped off while you're working now imagine this is like a big burly pickup truck and not my sedan but i think you get the point what makes these portable power units so amazing is how smart they are which means a smartphone app get the dabson app from the app store hit the plus button and you'll select the model type it'll come up you'll push this button to pair it'll tell you all that on the screen join it to your phone's Wi-Fi, connect to the Wi-Fi, and you're in business. Now, this isn't the prettiest app I've ever seen from a portable power unit, but it works really well. Here's the light controls, right? And you can turn the AC on and off. It'll show you the power being used. And what's really nice, we're still running the, the uh, bouncy house behind us. It'll tell you a projection of how much time will remain based on how much power you're using right now. So when I had the electric cooktop turned on, that was down to around two hours. But now that it's off and I don't have the added battery, just this by itself, and it's showing me five hours of running that thing. Now, the one feature I wish the app had is the ability to set the charge point. So for example, I want it to charge to 80% most of the time, but I can't set that here. Once you plug it in, it'll charge to 100%. Now that could come in a software update in the future, I would imagine that it would, but this lithium iron phosphate chemistry is so good and it lasts for so long, that might be why it's not really that big of a deal. Charge it all the way up, have fun with it, and don't worry too much about it, because like we mentioned, 6,000 plus charge cycles, you're gonna be good to go. Oh, one other thing. I have had enough of these batteries, and I've upgraded enough of them to know one of the trickiest things is firmware updates. It's really hard to do well. This one came out of the box, it said firmware update available. I hit update, and I was like, let's see what happens. It was flawless. It was one of the most quick, easy experiences. It turned right back on. I power cycled it. It was all good to go. It connected right back up and we were in business, which is good because these things will come with improvements over time. The software on your phone and the battery will improve over time. And um, overall, it's just a solid little thing. It is seriously a pretty impressive little package. The amount of capacity to 2.3 kilowatt hours in this form factor is really, really good. Now it is a little bit heavy, but it's something you can actually manage. And because it has an added battery, you can just carry them one at a time compared to a bigger system that weighs a hundred pounds, which would be beyond the scope of, of most people to carry. That turns out really well. And as we mentioned, you can have a lot of fun, backyard parties, taking it out to the park. Before the age of the portable power systems like this, what would you do, a generator, I guess? Those are a lot of headache. You have to maintain them, you have to do oil changes, you have to you know, keep them up to date, the gasoline goes bad if you leave it over winters, flooding carburetors, I mean, it was, those are challenging. This is so much more elegant, just plug it in and it'll just charge and be ready to go. And as we mentioned, if you're a contractor, if you do work where you need power out in your truck, or if you're a landscaper, you gotta charge your tools in between jobs, this is more than capable. And like we talked about with the added solar, you can be charging in between jobs and then run entirely off solar. How about battery backup? If you've ever been without power, you know the things that always come to mind. Your refrigerator, right? You don't want spoiled food. Your wireless modem, access point, those things, if you could provide power to them, yeah, the power is out, but so what? Get a couple of flashlights. You can still use your laptop. You can connect to the internet and get a lot of your work done. For us, those are the things that always jump out as the first things we got to back up. And this is more than capable. And one other feature that we haven't really talked about is energy arbitrage. You could program this to just charge at cheap times. Maybe your electricity from noon to 6 a.m. is cheap. Charge this up and then run certain things, your laptops, your monitors and stuff, right off the back here during peak times from the battery. Run a window AC. This will run a window AC for a couple of hours. Or if you have the extra battery, maybe an afternoon. Our lives are increasingly going to be electric. Soon we'll have heat pumps for heating and cooling. We are gonna be installing that pretty soon. 
air conditioning, right? Refrigerators, internet, all that stuff runs on electricity. And while if you live in a place where you have hurricanes or tornadoes, deep freezes in the winter time, for us, it'll be wildfires. You might have the occasional power outage. And trust me, one of these things will be worth its weight if that ever happens. And with this much capacity, you'll be amazed at how much you can power. Hopefully we've showcased that for you. All right. That is a look at our Datsun DBS 2300. I got to say, we've been using it for a little while now. Very impressed. All right. I'm Ricky Tuba Da Vinci. <laughs> what? We have a special guest. You, you've seen him in this episode. It's my son, Remy. Hi. You want to you do the outro? Yes. Say, you've been watching Tuba Da Vinci. We'll see you next week. You've been watching Tuba Da Vinci, but we'll see you next week.